sectors may be particularly vulnerable. Pharma, the automobiles, and the IT sector. Our reporters help you understand the impact. Take a look and good night. Brexit may not have a significant impact as far as the drug approval process is concerned, but it will definitely change the way pharma companies do their business in UK as well as in Europe. In fact, as far as the domestic European market is concerned, we're likely to see more competition. In fact, we're likely to see volume-driven growth rather than value-driven growth. Also, uh, you know, foreign currency loans uh, could be impacted primarily with the dollar strength strengthening. Also, the companies that are most likely to be impacted are uh, Divi's Labs, Aurobindo, Torrent, uh, Ipka, as well as Dr. Reddy's, which have significant significant exposure as far as Europe is concerned. So we'll keep you updated as to how this pans out going ahead. The decline in the British pound will mean that the pricing of current contracts will change. So these contracts will have to be renegotiated and that will impact margins. The time taken for clients to decide now on new contracts will differ, which means that IT companies overall margin the revenues could be hit in terms of contracts coming in from UK. Uh, they will have to have a separate headquarter now for, from EU, which will mean divestment from UK. Amongst the companies, Wipro Tech Mahindra will be hit the most and uh, TCS, Infosys, HCL Tech will see impact but only marginal. Tata Motors' JLR subsidy could be most impacted by Brexit. Now remember that 24% of its revenues and 50% of its components are sourced from Europe. With Britain opting out of the European Union, there is a risk of a new tariff structure being implemented between the UK and the EU, which could make the cost of JLR products much more expensive compared to their European peers. This would come at a time when the UK economy would be facing headwinds and the cost of operations would be going up. And as such, it would also be at a time when the INR would be appreciating versus the GB. So there is a real risk that uh, over the next one decade, nearly one billion pounds in pre-tax profit could be wiped out from JLR's books. So this is the real risk there. At the same time, other auto ancillary companies such as Bharat Forge, Mothers and Sumi and Apollo Tires have large exposure to Europe and they could also be impacted by Brexit.